It's funny how at the beginning I was like, oh gosh, I can't imagine charging people for hospitals. That's just so, so cruel. Literally 10 minutes later, I'm like, everything's going up 10%. Capitalism, boys! <laughs> and welcome back to a brand new video and thank you for clicking on this because it's a new game that I am going to be trying out it's actually some early beta gameplay of a game called Two Point Hospital if you don't know much about this game then let me tell you a little bit about the history of Claire when I was younger I spent so so much time playing a game called Theme Hospital it was by a company called Bullfrog it was so much fun it was like it had a really dark sense of humor and it was just amazing and I would spend hours and hours playing it after my dad bought me it and I just loved it so so much and there hasn't ever been another theme hospital despite how amazing the first one was until now because although Bullfrog is gone a lot of the people that worked on that game and worked on games like Fable, Theme Park, all these games that I love so so much they've kind of all gotten back together again to make a new game and that game is Two Point Hospital it is kind of the reimagining the rebirth of the theme hospital series and I am so so excited to try it for you guys this is a beta so I don't think it's the fully finished game but it's still gonna be pretty shiny and I cannot wait to give it a go for you guys so if any of you played the original game let me know in the comments below I think I always got like two-thirds of the way around the map and then I got stuck and I couldn't get any further but I was quite a lot younger like what let's find out what year that game came out this could be embarrassing not more embarrassing though than when I saw a tweet where you guys were like uh, what does Claire remind you of like how do you see her and in my head you guys were gonna be like oh big sister like friend no aunt Mm. Auntie Claire, like I literally had to go to Ali and he had to bring me back from the edge after that. 1997! That's when that game came out. I would have literally been about seven, so <laughs> no wonder I wasn't great at it. So let's go ahead and start ourselves a new game. As always, oh, oh, let's listen, let's listen. They leave healthier than when they arrived. 52%. That's pretty bad. <laughs> I look so cool. So cool. If you suffer from turtle head, let us ease your worries and noggin gently Oh my gosh, he does not look well. Oh, I love that the diseases are all as weird as before. I love that. Brighter, safer future. And hardly anything will stand in our way. You deserve the best. So join us at Oh my Hospital. gosh. We're open for new staff, it's so new patients, good. and a new you. Can I go play golf yet? <laughs> So this is how the original game was. The diseases were so weird and the humor was so dark. And it was actually amazing. As always, if you guys want me to turn this into a longer series, please let me know in the comments below. Is this our first little hospital here? Where can I click? Where can I click? I want to get started already. This is Hogspot, your first hospital. Click on it to get started. Okay, they better still have bloaty head. If they don't have bloaty head, I'm going to be so sad. I kind of feel like turtle head might be the new bloaty head though. Bloaty head is where you came into hospital with a massive head and they literally just got a pin and popped it. And they were like, you're done. Okay, welcome to Two Point County. Are you ready to start building your, building your first hospital? Yes, I am. Okay, okay, okay. So these are like the controls. Can I like twist? Oh, I can twist. Okay. You never used to be able to twist, so that's new. And honestly, I kind of feel like this is the same map as the first map in the game. Okay, so they want me to build myself a little reception first. So why don't we kind of have, can I like twist stuff? Okay, I'm gonna put the reception like as soon as you come in because it kind of makes sense, right? And then I sort of feel like I need some chairs. Okay, it wants me to hire some staff. Oh my gosh, some of the staff in this game are like horrifically bad as well. Okay, this person is really good, but they're really expensive. But this person's kind of trash. Georgina Mullet. Um... I'm gonna go- oh, what's this person? Oh, they've had stamina training. They've got good customer service and they've got good motivation. I'm gonna go for like middle, just slap bang in the middle here. There you go. I need some chairs for people to sit on, I'm thinking. Okay, he wants me to build a GP's office first. Okay. Oh my gosh, I remember it all so clearly now. It will usually go- yes, yeah, so that's the color it goes when the room's big enough. I'm kind of feeling like we could get two GP's like side by side here. Well, it kind of makes sense to do- mm. You've got to like plan. You have to like plan everything in your head for this. I used to just build stuff like so quickly just to like get it done like build, build, build quick. Um, they, they are happier if you give them more stuff. So I'm just gonna give them like some extra little bits and bobs. Oh my gosh, all the items of the scene. Ah! It's so good, 
is just like the way it was before. Okay, so I've made him quite a nice little room. He's got to be happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and take that. I've left space here because um, one thing you kept kind of tended to needed and the other ones was two GPs offices eventually. Planning ahead, you guys. Planning ahead. Okay, all the doctors are apparently kind of trash. This guy's at least quite good at treating people. This guy is kind of bad. I'm going to go for Thomas Doolittle, even though he sounds like he should be working on animals and pop him in there. Oh, I love this. I love this. Okay, a hospital is now open for business. I need some chairs for people to sit at. I also feel like I need to build um, some toilets, really, because I don't want people to go on the floor. I'm going to get some little chairs so people can like wait outside the GP's office. And can I build um, a toilet? It's not letting me build a toilet yet, but have we got any patients arriving? Where are my patients at? Where are my patients at? So here is our first little patient. Oh my gosh. I can get so close to him now. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is so cool. Okay, so we're diagnosed our first patient. The GP is... What is this? Who is this person I'm listening to? And get ready to find out what's really going on. Okay, so we've got some music and a really weird DJ. I need to build myself a little pharmacy. So the D the doctor is like, can you build a pharmacy? Let's get the patient to wait and I'll build a pharmacy for him. I could build a pharmacy next door to the GP's office, actually. That kind of makes perfect sense. I remember the pharmacies being able to be quite um small. So yeah, let's just... Oh, no, no, I don't want that. Mm. How do I reset the room? Okay, like that, like that, like that. Okay, there we go. We have a GP's and a pharmacy next door to each other. So that's pretty shiny. As always, I'm going to give them some extra stuff just to make them feel real nice and happy and whatnot. Because I'm nice like that. I'm a, I'm a nice, like, hospital manager. There we go. Then I think I need to hire myself a little nurse a room. Dorothy Bop, with a name like that, you are getting your butt hired. She's like this in a profile picture as well. That's how you know she's good. Okay, there's going to be people waiting outside that pharmacy so i'm kind of feeling like i need to pop some little adventures just here there you go little friendos gonna get a little drinks machine oh my gosh this is gonna make everyone sick because they look like some bad drinks but never mind they just need a water or a leaflet stand i don't even know why i want that but i just kind of do first patient cured Woo. okay we've just cured our very first patient yeah Exciting news. Oh, where's my bench just gone? Have I run out of money? Is that what's happening? <laughs> I am noticing that I'm hiring very expensive stuff, which ain't ideal, is it? Okay, now I need some janitors and maintenance. Wow, that plan is absolutely huge. Okay, who should we hire as our janitor? Oh my gosh, I know I'm going for the expensive people every time, but I want people that have good training. <gasps> Allows the janitor to detect and capture ghosts? Oh my gosh, so when people die, they're gonna become ghosts? Ah, that's really creepy. Okay, what are assistants? I don't really understand what assistants are, but okay. Okay, I've got to keep people happy as well, or else they're gonna leave and go to another hospital. It's telling me to place a snack machine. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, snacks machine. Okay, let's just pop that there. What is with this radio guy? He's actually a little bit strange and annoying, not gonna lie. Okay, so I need to build myself a staff room. I think I'm gonna build my staff room like a little bit away from everything so that they've got a nice place just to kind of chill out away from the patients because let's face it, patients are kind of annoying. Does it still have a snooker table? Okay, no snooker table anymore. That's kind of sad. Give them some little windows. Give them some little lockers. No money, no treatment. No money, no treatment. Harsh but fair. Although, if this was in the UK, I I can't even imagine a scenario where you'd need to hand money over to get treated in a regular hospital. I mean, actually, you have to pay eight pounds for your prescription, so that's a lie. There we go, staff room for our patients. Okay, so how's my little doctor doing? He's he's good. His happiness is good. He's got quite good energy. We're all good. And I need to build myself some toilets as well. I'm going to put the toilets near reception, I think. I don't think they're going to be big enough, actually. Okay, let's just pop some toilets here. I bet people are watching this thinking, that is not the way that I used to build my hospitals, Claire. You're doing things all wrong. This is the way I used to build mine, so I'm kind of just going off the way I did things before. I'm going to... Can I delete? like uh, this toilet here. And yeah, I want to get some more sinks I because patients, if they get an opportunity to not wash their hands, I feel like they're going to take it. Patients are gross, you guys. They are so gross. Okay, there we go. Toilet's done. You don't
don't want any windows in a toilet because who wants to watch people poop? Nobody does. Okay, there's some new illnesses in town, which means I need to build a general diagnosis room. I'm keeping everything just to a really tiny area for now, which I know is a little bit strange, but I, I kind of do stuff like little and then build out. It's just the way I used to do stuff, guys, okay? I'm not saying I'm a pro because clearly I was seven years old the last time I played this game, but this is the way I'm gonna do stuff, okay? <laughs> Leave me be with my strange room building. Oh, look, this person's got two plants. They're gonna be so happy. Okay, who do I need to hire for this room? I legit can't remember. General diagnosis. Okay, also use a nurse trained in diagnosis. So I need a nurse for this room. Is that right? I think so. Let's go ahead and hire ourselves a nurse. Oh, this one's the Hulk. You're real good. Is this the right room for you, friendo? I'm hoping it is. Yeah, you seem pretty happy in there. We're all good. Okay, our janitor's doing some work on here. He's just kind of slamming it a little bit, but that's all good. I'm happy with that. I'm gonna get some more chairs and stuff, I think. And some more ways to make money off patients. Because this is an American hospital. <laughs> and a bin. And a chair. Uh, and a plant, sorry. And a leaflet stand. Get your leaflets, patients. I don't know what they're for, but get a hold of them. Look at this. Buying myself some money. Okay, my expense is I'm still losing about three thousand pounds. Is that per month? I feel like it is because we're in the beginning of June. Ooh, and look, we've discovered a new illness. Misery guts. Oh my gosh, I get this illness sometimes. I'm gonna go ahead and build myself a ward. I want to keep a little gap here to make sure patients can move up and down. So I think I'll... Ooh, there's a peculiar illness in town. Lightheadedness. We're gonna need some expensive new equipment to deal with this. Continue expanding the hospital to unlock the new treatment room. We are, I might also need another GP's office. Okay, I totally called that. I'm gonna build a big ward. Is that too big? <laughs> I don't even know. I feel like the wards can get super busy though. That might be on later hospitals. Never mind, we'll have a big ward because wards are pretty important, right? Plus then look, I can get loads of beds in there. Look how wardy it is. So wardy right now. Everyone needs a plant because I, I think it makes them happier. What's all the strange music going on? Someone's not died, have they? <gasps> oh my gosh, my first patient has died, I think. Oh no! Why did you die? Oh my gosh, now I've got a ghost treatment failed for misery guts. <gasps> oh my gosh, please capture the ghost. Okay, okay, he's ca oh, he's vacuuming up the ghost. Oh no, I can't believe I'm gonna have to hire some more people. I need another doctor for sure. I feel bad because I'm like hiring all the most expensive people. I do feel like it's important to have good folk, okay? Because uh, when you hire bad people, they walk around. In the old game, they walked around really slowly. They let, let patients die. They were just not great. And then I'm gonna build another GP's office as well, just here. This is quite a big one. Like I'd prefer to work in this one if I was a GP because it's nicer. I'm gonna give loads of plants. I like plants. <laughs> so I kind of feel like it will make them real happy. And then I'm gonna, I think I might hire another doctor still. No, he's kind of trashed. Oh, I don't mind, he can get hired. There you go, friend. <laughs> Ooh, my hospital star rating. Continue to expand the hospital to acquire a one-star rating. Okay, okay, okay. <gasps> Five messages. Oh, and we've got a new illness. Bogwarts. A rather disgusting skin condition caused by filthy toilets. It can be it can be cured by an expensive cocktail of drugs or with witchcraft. Okay. Do I need to be like upgrading these pharmacies and stuff? I don't even know. I am gonna go ahead and pop some little churros and stuff outside here. I know I've got that doctor wandering around, not really knowing what to do, but it will make sense later in time when the hospital gets busier, okay? Ooh, what's, ooh. This, when I have a plant, there's some sort of green thing that appears everywhere. I don't know why, but it's real exciting. Okay, I think I need to hire another nurse because I think I've only got one. <gasps> this one's called Claire, so she's getting hired. There you go, friendo. Bed face discovered. Oh my gosh, I have this all the time. Does anybody else wake up and their face is just like puffy and gross and their eyes are all ugly and it's like, a quite alarming contortion of the face caused by sleeping at a strange angle. Doctors recommend you always use a bed protractor to monitor your sleeping angles. Imagine. Okay, this person looks like they're being cured. Are you all good? Okay, they're making a cocktail. Okay, that's really cool. I'm gonna hire another um, janitor. One that also has the spookiness. The spookiness qualifications. I actually remember in the old game, all the doctors were boys, all the nurses were men. Uh, sorry, all the doctors were men, all the nurses were women, all the janitors. Oh, this guy's got a light bulb head. All the janitors 
fighters were uh, men as well, so it's kind of nice that they've mixed up all the genders a little bit. We're in 2014 now, gang, okay? Ooh, I found the finance tab, so I could take out loans and stuff if I wanted to. And then this is just the general visualization. Okay, that must be like how... Ooh, hygiene. Hygiene's good everywhere. Temperature, I don't think I need to worry about yet. Attractiveness is okay. I think I'm gonna put a plant out here just to make it more attractive, you guys. We want a beautiful hospital, don't we? Okay, we're, we're diagnosing stuff all over the place, but I need a new clinic. A Dulux clinic. Let's get this built. Okay, so I'm leaving a little corridor there. I know it's getting a little bit squishy now, you guys, but never mind. Ooh, this has actually got quite a lot of stuff in it. <gasps> this isn't the place where you send patients and they never make it out, is there? There was like a treatment room in the old game where the patient like went into this like big machine. And then I literally think they just kind of got ripped apart and it helped us discover what was wrong with them for like the next person. But oh, someone's just died, haven't they? I feel like someone's just died. But like super depressing because like that was it. They were dead. Like that was literally it. So where's this little doctor going? Can I just pick him up? How do I pick him up? I used to be able to pick up doctors in the old one. But he's going in there anyway. That's all good. What's this nurse just doing? She's looking. Claire's just stood there looking for work, you guys. Oh, what's happening to this poor lady? Oh, is someone going in there? Oh my gosh, they've just taken this guy's light bulb head off. And they're building him a new head. Oh, and this person just died. Why did you die? Feeling, dying. What? They didn't become a ghost. I don't know why they died though, guys. I don't know what they died of. That's kind of worrying. Okay, I'm gonna hire another doctor for our other uh, GP clinic. I am burning through my money <laughs> quite quickly. What's wrong with this guy? Oh no, he's the janitor. <laughs> this dude has been cured. He's looking super happy with his big old quagmire chin. What's he thinking about? Was she off for a break? Okay, she's tired. So she's going for a break, which means I can go ahead and pick this nurse up and put her in there. There you go. Ooh, 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 ooh. <gasps> one star hospital. Your hospital has been awarded a one star rating. That's out of a possible three by the ministry. Ministry. So we got a 10,000 pound cash bonus. We got a kudosh bonus. We could also build a new hospital in lower bucks. <laughs> However, I think I'm gonna continue with this one just for a little bit because we've only just opened it, right? I say we try and get a few more stars just for now. Also, I don't know how to train my staff, which I'm a little bit worried about, because that student nurse can't really do much yet. And she's called Claire, so obviously I want to train her up. Oh my gosh, it's October. We've gone eight oh, months in the game so already. Oh no, she's working now, you guys. Claire's on it. We're all good. Oh my gosh, to earn, to get to a two-star hospital, I have to earn $200,000. Like, that is a lot. That is an awful lot. I'm gonna have to keep out an eye for patients dying because i seem to remember in the old game like when you looked at the queue you could like move people to the front of the queue if you were like a little bit worried that they were gonna die so after a while you kind of have to uh like keep an eye on queues and use like patient management type thing everything seems to be just trucking along quite nicely though guy's getting his little head replaced everything seems good and we've cured 20 patients in total. Guys, we're doing ourselves a bang up job. <gasps> that poor dude just paid five grand? Five grand to sleep in a bed? Are you joking me? Oh my gosh. Dude, Americans, I seriously feel for you. I feel for you so much. This would stress me out. Like, I would be scared of getting ill so much. So the kudosh lets us get new items. Okay. Oh, I could unlock, like, these benches and stuff. Or an energy drinks machine. Or a hand sanitizer. Okay, I guess eventually I want to try and unlock all of this stuff, don't I? I did get this new little poster, though. I, I can increase my hospital's attractiveness by putting little posters on the wall. Wall. That's pretty cool. There you go. Claire Weaver. Claire is ready for promotion. Up you go, my friend. There you go. Don't mind me. I just like talking into a microphone. How funny are the staff? <gasps> What's Claire doing? Oh, she's happy about a promotion. I thought she was trying to smash the window. She was like, <laughs> Claire, you're my favorite member of staff because you're called Claire. So you're getting a pay rise. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Definitely not the way you're supposed to do this, but 
It's the way we roll. And see, look, my cure rates. So look, Bogwarts and Misery Guts have quite bad cure rates. Does that mean I need to do something with, like, my pharmacy? Like, can I upgrade this? How do I, like, upgrade a room? Okay, I'm gonna make jobs in this room a high priority because I'm a bit worried about this low cure rate we've got here. It's also telling me I've got too many doctors because this guy's just wandering around. But then this guy's kind of getting a bit tired. So look, I can pop him in here and then I can pop him in here. Boom. Oh, my assistant morale is really low. I didn't even know I had an assistant. Okay, I need to check in on my poor little assistant. Where's he at? Oh, it's because I only have one receptionist. So obviously she's gonna be like super tired. Okay, I'm gonna build another reception just so that our receptionist has someone to chit chat with. Just cause I'm nice like that. Give them some little plants around their desks and stuff too. Just really making them super nice and happy. And they, this person can finally have a break. They've not had a break in 12 months, you guys. They are exhausted. And oh, look at this, we've got an emergency. A group of pharmacy patients have broken out of a wellness center and are looking for further treatment. We'll get good money if we get it, but we've got to cure five patients in 90 days. Okay, and this person wants a promotion. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and build another pharmacy specifically for this reason, you guys. you got to do when there's an emergency. you got to get on it. you got to get on it. Oh, and I'm getting this absolutely litty nurse here. Catches Frisbee, dog style. You're kind of weird, but we need you because we've got an emergency coming. Okay, here are the emergency patients, you guys. They need to go straight to the front of the queue. Luckily, we've got a pharmacy, a brand new pharmacy ready and waiting. Okay, this is good. This is good. This is good. Get in there, friendos. Get cured. Okay, I'm really glad I built another one because we've only done two. And I've, I've got like just over half of my time left. Oh, who died? Who died? No! Why is this person dying? What? The treatment failed. The chance of success was 88%. What did you do? Why did you not save them? No. The staff's skill was too low. But I don't really know how to improve the skill of my staff yet. Oh, he's crying about it. He's really sad about it. He's hungry. Okay. How do I train him though? I don't know how to train staff yet. Maybe I can't do it at this point in the game. But I really want to be able to start training people because I hate this patient's dying thing. <gasps> and we failed one of our pharmacy patients too. How do I train people? Oh my gosh. And look at this. I've nearly got the two-star hospital. I've only got to treat like one more patient and then cure two more patients. And then I'm done. And you cured four out of five patients? I think that's good, but why? I want to train my stuff, but I hate the idea of people dying. I hate that. Okay, cure two more patients and we've completed two stars of our first hospital. <gasps> oh my gosh! The hospital administrator, call me Claire. Your hospital has been awarded two stars by the Two Point Health Ministry. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I can sense your confidence inflating. Careful that you don't build yourself up for an even greater fall. That's kind of harsh, but okay. And now we've got a salty snacks machine. Okay, so we have to cure 30 patients and increase our hospital value. Okay, 30 patients is quite a lot. Oh wow, our hospital value is actually amazing got to earn all this additional money. I think I can speed through time. Oh my gosh, I can. Increasing all my prices by 10%, you guys. It's funny how at the beginning I was like, oh gosh, I can't imagine charging people for hospitals. That's just so, so cruel. Literally 10 minutes later, I'm like, everything's going up 10%. Capitalism, boys! And girls. Be inclusive. Oh, oh, oh. Staff promotion. There you go. Health inspection. Come on in, friendo. Look up. There's no sick on the floor. There's no poops on the floor. Yes, you can get poops on the floor. Oh, what's this guy doing? He wants a bin. You not have a bin? Oh, friendo, let me get on that. Let me get on that for you. There you go. Have a bin. Okay, so our health inspector. Oh, this is... Is this dude our health inspector? No, that's just a random little friendo. He is the health inspector. Okay. Be fair and nice, friendo. He's visiting the staff room. Is that Claire just? Oh, no, it's the Hulk. She all good. She all good. We're getting real close to three stars, you guys. We're gonna smash it. Okay, I'm noticing my patients are bored. Is there anything I can get them? What, what reduces boredom? <gasps> An arcade machine. Can I buy that? Oh, I can't unlock it yet. Only thing I can use to reduce boredom for now, I think, is a leaflet stand. Okay, that's kind of lame, but okay. Here, have some leaflets, friendos. 
Ooh, one of our, the health inspector loved my hospital, you guys. And we've got a lightheadedness emergency. <gasps> We might need to make another Dulux clinic. Okay, let's build another one right now. The hospital reputation is now great. And we've got our new little Dulux room, you guys. Gonna get some little chairs and some horrible snacks to make everyone nice and sick. <laughs> Salty snacks. I swear they are like the worst. Ooh, what's this? A purple bench. Okay, now we've got nice purple benches. I don't know if they're comfier. I'm kind of hoping they are because that would be nice. Hoping we smash this emergency. Emergencies were like the most stressful thing. Thing with on the previous game. But in a good way, because it adds a bit of interest. Because that's what you'd be doing. You'd be like, making sure nobody was in front of them in the queue. Like, these guys are VIPs, so we all good. Is this my other room here? Oh, oh, oh. I keep killing folks. I've cured two and failed one. Like, I think it's just... Get this ghost out of my hospital right now. Catch the ghost. Where's my janitors at? Okay, there we go. I think it's just that I can't train my staff yet, but in later games, I think I'm going to be able to train them. I hope. Okay, six out of seven. I'm going to take that as a good win, you guys. I think that's pretty good. Everything's just going along real nice, guys. We've cured our 30 patients. We only need 93,000 more dollars. Oh, man, there's just something so messed up about running a for-profit hospital like this, but... Just accept it, Claire. It is the game. Every time I see a machine that looks a little bit sad, I go ahead and get my janitor. Come fix it, friendo. I feel like I'm doing pretty good at this whole hospital business. My reputation is real shiny. I'm at level six of my just general awesomeness. I'm almost at half a milli dollars. We're doing good. We're pretty good at this. Oh my gosh, I'm so close to completing it. Three stars on my first hospital, you guys. We ain't, we ain't here for one stars. It's like Overcooked. When Ali and I play Overcooked, unless we get three stars, we just keep going and going and going and going. And that's what I'm doing with this game too. I'm noticing, look, diagnosis plus 81. Is that diagnosis of the patient or is that diagnosis like... Is that the general doctor's diagnosis and patient going up? I don't know. I don't really know if he's learning more stuff or not. I can't quite tell. No ghosts in a while though, so that's nice. <laughs> you don't want to see the dead walking around the hospital, do you? Ooh, ooh, another emergency. A ward. Five patients with bed face. Oh man, my ward isn't really big enough. Can I like... Ooh, I can move these beds like to the edge and maybe get a new, a new bed. Oh, I've done it! I've done it! Your hospitals have been awarded three stars. I hope for your sake you remember how you were able to concoct such a model institution because the county would expect you to repeat this ad infinitum. Infinitum. I don't know. Made this free you of gumption and fill you with nerves. Wow, that's so harsh. However, I've now got a news agent. So let's open the map. Rise and shine, <gasps> I've um, I've smashed that hospital. Watch this is our next one right here. Lower Bullock's Hospital has Lower been unlocked. Shall we go take ourselves a little nosy in it? Okay, so I'm gonna move over to this one. Expand the organization by establishing a second hospital. I'm just gonna take a little bit of a look at it so you guys can see how it looks. <gasps> Welcome to Lower Bullocks. It's a lovely little village with a big problem. A significant portion of the population believe themselves to be rock stars. There's only one thing that can cure this, psychiatry. Only doctors with a psychiatry qualification will be able to diagnose and treat patients in the psychiatry room. We've managed to find one, but you should keep your eyes peeled for future applicants. Okay, I'm gonna pause so I can have a little look. This hospital's tiny, so, so tiny. I'm guessing maybe in the long term I can expand. This is gonna be a super super squeeze so this is the psychiatry room it looks the same as the ones in the previous game and this is our second hospital we already have a few staff floating around as well okay so super super tiny and it could be a challenge if everybody thinks that they are rock stars but if you guys want me to give the second hospital a go please let me know in the comments below i love this game so i'm really really hoping you guys like it a lot as well and you want me to continue it please show the video some love give it some thumbs up and don't forget to hit notification bells on if you want me to play more so that you don't miss the next video and thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in another video bye